My wife's originally from the Philippines. We met at a friend's house and we started dating. Then we got married um, two, two years ago in Lapalapu City. But when we first met, um, I, I worked in the kitchen, I was working at all times. When we first got married, we only saw each other like four hours a week. So it was kind of really tough. And then she had a tough job. She was working 60 hours a week or more and then um, care home. And she wanted something to do. And she, she really has a passion in food, just like I do. Now we get to spend a lot of time together and it's almost like we're not working. We both love to do it and it's like almost hanging out. <laughs> You are a lumpia machine. It's not. You are a lumpia machine. Well, you use the one from McTan Island, where my wife is from, barbecue's king. You would think fish would be number one, but pork is number one. There's a roasted pork belly on every corner. In America, if you want to go to roasted pork belly, you have to go to a fine dining restaurant, and, and it's $12 for a little piece of food. Why well, in the Philippines, it's, it's cheap and it's street food. It's not fancy. It's not fine dining. That's what we're trying to do in the truck, too. It's good street food that's affordable. This? This? Yours? There you go. There's a preconceived notion that food trucks are dirty. You know, we put some time into the design to really make it clean and to make it appealing to people, so you almost have to come up to the truck and eat from it. Eventually, I would like to really bring Filipino food to the mainstream. That's really what our goal is to do, to get it recognized, and then hopefully eventually have a restaurant maybe, or maybe other food trucks. There's so many different areas of Filipino food that you can explore.